Hello everyone, Daisy here again with another layout for everyday inspiration. I'm sorry it is going up late. I have switched to the night shift and I am struggling with um, my days or my days of the week kind of because when I wake up it's one day but then when I go to bed it's another day and it's just I don't know why I am like really really having a problem with it um, recently. So anyhow it's Better late than never, right? So um, I started out with this cut file that I created myself. I found a free clip art um, on the internet and it had this beautiful castle on it and I just put it in my silhouette um, design studio and copied it and traced it and created this cut file. Um, I love that it has the little Tinkerbell there and yeah, so I cut it out of black cardstock and then backed it with silver glitter cardstock. And the reason I did that is because um, my photos that I'm going to be using are from when we went to um, um, Disney World. And it was when um, they had the frozen castle, so they had like a whole bunch of snowflakes and like icicles and all this sort of stuff on the castle and it was really beautiful so I wanted um, the castle to match my photos. The inspiration photo is from Lisa who just went on a trip this summer um, to Disney World and it's a beautiful photo of um, the castle when they were there with the fireworks of course. And so, yeah, I figured I have not done a lot of Disney layouts because, I don't know, I just haven't decided how I want to do it, but I have done some here and there, so I figured I would, why not, you know, add this to my collection. Um, so my title is Love These Magical Memories. The Memories is from Bella Boulevard, or Chow Chips. And then the Magical is from, I'm pretty sure it's the Glitter Girl collection. It's one of the Chamel collections. It's the um, thicker set that came, like the words that came with it. Um, I have those rainbow letters. Those are from one of the Paige Evans. They're the little thickers. And then that Love is from... Vicki Booten. Um, and then I use that Here Comes the Fun puffy stickers and those are from the Crepe Paper. Is it? Oh, I don't remember. All Heart or? Yeah, I'm pretty sure All Heart. And then I'm adding a few more of the Vicki Booten um, puffy pieces. Trying to spread the color around a little bit. I added those stars and the moon and that shooting star. Those are also from the All Heart um, Puffy Sticker Collection. And I had started this layout and then realized that I must not have hit record or something had happened. And so I peeled everything off and then restarted. Um, so that's why I, like, I'm not showing you all the packages and everything. I did do stitching around the outside of my castle um, and I just did an offset of my cut file and then changed that line, that offset line, into the dashed lines to make my stitching holes. And if you want a tutorial on that, I um, am doing sort of a similar thing with the Spiegel Mom Scraps layout um, that will be going up um, on Friday the 18th. So you should definitely check that out if you're interested in how to change things into stitching lines. So speaking of Spiegel Mom Scraps, I am pulling in some sequins here, and this is one of the new mixes, and oh my goodness, I can't remember what the name is. Let's see if I can find it here. Um, it's one of the ones from October, and I am absolutely, totally, it's called Daydreamer, and it is beautiful. It has all these different shape pieces and color pieces, and it's just so fun and playful. So here are the photos that I have. I actually have three that I printed out, but one of them, um, I only had room for two. So one of them didn't have the snowflakes and stuff on it. 
So I decided to leave that one off because it was more about the firework kind of over the castle than what was on the castle. I did pull up that love puffy word um, so that I could tuck the photos underneath it there. And I had to move a couple of other things so that they weren't completely covered up by the photos. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with how with how this came out. Um, I was completely stuck, and I'm not going to lie, I just, I really haven't felt like scrapping um, at all this week. Like, I haven't scrapped in, like, probably over a week, and then this was my first layout. And it was, I mean, I love how it turned out, but it was really kind of painful to make. I mean, I am so, like, not wanting to scrap to the point where I have cleaned my house, and I also sewed myself my own bag to carry my stuff to work because I didn't like the one I had been using so I made my own bag I mean talk about procrastinating there you go but anyhow I'm really loving this I decided I wanted to add Disney in the year which was 2014 somewhere on the layout and I'm sorry this is a little off camera here but I do end up adding it at the bottom of the castle um, in those rainbow letters and then i add the year in the white foam letters um, that are also from Paige Evans, the tiny ones. But don't forget to head on over and check out the other ladies' videos. I will have links down below for everyone. And thank you so much for watching. See you again next time. Bye!